The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. All right. Welcome, welcome to Unhinged with the Door Dork. <laughs> Uh, today, we do have a very special guest. Uh, I'm Dan Glover. I'm a product manager with Outside Lloyd Door Group. Okay. Uh, let's jump into the next one. Mm. Well, I guess after you open that with the alarm sounding and you break your ankle, then someone can come and help you. So I, I think that's pretty good. Well, it looks like they've got it stopped. It's an alarm exit, but it's not clear. So you couldn't get out. It looks like it is clamped down with those little brackets on the exterior. So that that's might be a problem. I think they added this for safety, but also... Yeah. Kind of defeating the purpose of, you know, like an emergency exit, right? Unless it's an innovation that's tied to the exit device. So when you hit the paint bar, those rotate out of the way. Maybe there's also like a ramp that pops up. Yeah, so there no, you go. <laughs> that's what that little pipe, you think it's a drainage pipe, but it also hides in a, in an expandable shelf that comes up <laughs> on demand. It's oh, like the airplane doors, you know, exactly. like, the, yeah. And you can't tell what signage they have on the inside, but it, it, the danger is not really clear. It is danger, but it's not very clear. Maybe that lights up when there's a problem. Tape over uh, what I'm assuming it says caution, alarm will sound or um, emergency exit or something like that. Well, the good thing too, is as you're limping away with your cracked or broken ankle, you can drag yourself across an open area. If it is very bad, you're getting away from the heat source. If there's a fire, so you got plenty of room to get to a safe area. Again, I, I like your thinking, Dan, um, <laughs> that they need to add a sign here, tuck and roll, right? Yeah, yeah stop, drop and roll. Yeah. And then cry because your ankle's broken. Maybe they put some padding down below. That could be a fix. You know, you know, if you're not going to fix the door and any of those, just. I wonder if they have a, if this is on a path of egress, like I wonder if they have emergency exit signs lighted up above, you know, I feel like we'd be able to see them through the glass, but maybe, maybe not. we're looking at this wrong. Maybe we're looking at this too, too legitimately. Maybe this is still under construction and this is just dogged down right now. They don't want to have it open until they get finished because they're building the ramp. It's ADA compliant that we get through all those processes in it we can get in and out with no problem yeah so i i can tell you that yes mia this is technically not an exit but if someone was panicking in a situation where this is a game center so it's like this was very busy very crowded i um, mean this was probably the most popular areas and so people were panicking and were trying to run they might just see an open door and like try to go for it but i can tell you i think initially it was supposed to be an exit because why else would they have those doors set up that way in that area? And maybe they just changed because they couldn't build out that way or they decided to go a different route with the building plan. It would make sense to have an exit right there at a busy section of your entertainment game center. I wonder if there, because I mean, like Dan said, there's a lot of open space if there was plan for like future expansion or, something. Expansion or like additional businesses which is what has stopped them from adding stairs or a ramp or anything. I can't tell if that's a, you know, I do see a bottom ver uh, surface applied rod on that. Don't know if it has a top. Yeah, especially being a game center. I'm sure they would yeah. want that to be uh, pretty, pretty locked down. Um, there was a top rod as well. Okay, I just couldn't see it from the picture, so I saw the bottom, so it's less top. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a new, a new one. Yes, yeah, so it's a new, new <laughs> listing we're going to do. Exit less top rods. <laughs> this photo is all innovation for us. That's right. Yeah, so it being not an exit, I don't know how bad this is, but what, what are your guys' thoughts? You I'd say seven because you're, it could be misleading and someone gets tragically trapped there in a life safety event. So that's pretty serious. Yeah, I'm a five because while this is probably not meant to be a path of egress, like I clearly would think this was it egress so it's a, still a life safety issue because it seems like in a panic situation this seems like it would be a good exit to go i don't know how that where the next closest exit is in relation to this it could be you know right out of frame for us yeah it wasn't close i can tell you it wasn't close okay yeah so then maybe i'm closer to seven with dan then because even though this wasn't technically an emergency exit like it looks if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck <laughs> what type of seating was in there ben was it was it a, a chair or a stool that could be used to break the glass then get out forget the door just get through the glass right then you got cut injuries but because <laughs> if i'm panicking i'm looking for something or somebody to throw through that opening so. <laughs> note, note to self uh run away from Dan and uh, you know, in panic, people do strange things. So it's like, 
Oh, I thought you were a stool. Like George Costanza from uh, from Seinfeld, right? Shoving the, the old lady out of the way. Yeah, so I, I would agree with you guys. It's I wouldn't rate it a 10 by any means, but it's 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 up there because it is confusing and in a panicked emergency situation. You don't want your openings to be confusing in any way. I know this because I was there. But there's no exit on that whole side of the building. So I think initially... They planned this to be one of their emergency exits, but, and they, they actually have this same opening duplicated just a couple of yards that way as well. But it, if I was panicking and not reading, like most people don't do, I might confuse this as an exit or try to go out that way, at least if something happened on the other side of the event center. All right. Are you ready for the final photo? Absolutely. Are you ready? I don't know if you're ready. Are we ever though? I mean... Okay, next one. So it's interesting. <laughs> it's going to be really hard to remain closed during that fire if there's no way to keep the door closed. But maybe there's something we're not seeing that's hidden. Maybe it's the mysterious invisible strike in there that we just don't see. Yes, you know, it's, it's completely transparent. It's lead-free, brass-free attachment. It's a magnetic, magnetic latch. It just that, comes right out. <laughs> it's coming from the frame. See, so we're going just opposite. It comes from the frame. But um, residential-ish uh, yeah. left. There screams innovation to me, you know, like just like took this off of three doors in the basement and just brought it up and use it again. Yes. I'm gonna guess that this door closer is also not properly adjusted. So every time this door closes, it just slams. Like I know it says hospital, but this screams hotel, you know, like into the stairwell yeah. where it just slams every single time it closes. Yeah, you can get a glimpse if you zoom in, you can get a glimpse of, of a hospitality lock there. So I'm mm. guessing the hotel, which are notoriously known for fire code violations. <laughs> yeah. And I can't tell if that's a laminated door or PVC, but it's interesting. Yeah, it's, it's a really, really old style of door. And Dan, I was wondering if you had any insight, if you knew of what, like, because it appears to be like some kind of wood veneer, but it's like solid. It's like yeah, it could be a protruded door. You know, they do that where it's actually FRP, but it's it's literally a solid slab, and they're real durable, but they get real ugly over time. But uh, yeah, and then I saw these like hinge reinforcements, so I was thinking this is probably a really heavy door. So definitely not meeting ADA compliance here. Yeah, yeah it looks like they used yeah. to have a mortise lock, but then yeah. they replaced. Use discussion to hide everything and then some kind of cylindrical lock and then they threw up this tubular i don't know this might be like a third generation lock on this door trying to make this work and i like the contrast because that looks like it's kind of a brushed finish well, contrast between the stainless look the brushed nickel and then you know mixed finishes are very popular but uh but I'm mixed not purpose sure is a whole ones different are the finishes you want to put together is this is this trending is this what what is, i should hope this is not trending yeah and also the lazy lever i also I well maybe really that's um that it's one. it's a short throw because there's so nothing I, to throw right you just yeah it's a pull. Yeah, it's, it's a, a pull. <laughs> it's just a pull, but it's mounted in a different orientation. Cherry Hospital, State of North Carolina, call us. Call yeah. us. We have some we have solution. solutions for you. It, it, I mean, it looks like, yeah, the door closer has been replaced a couple times or adjusted a couple different times because there's a couple different screws here. Oh. The door being that heavy, it broke down the door closer over time and they replaced it with cheaper knockoff version or... I'm surprised we don't see oil stains from that yeah. also this might be new a newer one because they just recently replaced it i don't know yeah yeah and then you got the contrasting light kit that's even a different finish so it's uh the thing glass. is is like the, across the hall looks nice right looks like that has at least gone through a semi-recent update right yeah maybe this is due for that because you know the kick plate's stainless and at least matches and then maybe that's that contrast again you're picking it up tying the carpet to the floor to the door i mean that's i love it i love it <laughs> this, this is the piece that holds it all together. I love right. it. it. It's it catches your eye, and then you know, so you go from the floor to the lock. It's just amazing. Yeah, it tells you where the lever is. In it's case a short way of emergency. Finding. Yeah, <laughs> and wired glass. I mean, that's kind of a that's a thing that's kind of gone away. There's other improvements to glazing that you don't have to use the wired safety glass unless it's in the code for that. I'm guessing it was probably grandfathered in because wired yeah, glass. Yeah. 
that being said, I don't know if they've been inspected in a while because this looks like it's been here for at least some time. That's that's one uh, hiccup that the pandemic brought on was the lack of inspections. I see more and more of this because people just weren't being held accountable over the last couple of years. Definitely should have a latch, though, if it's a All fire. Right. It would help the door stay closed. At least give it a fighting chance. Because you can tell that there's no strike on the other side. It's just still mortised out, right? It's just a big open. <laughs> Well, if there's we no latch, the, does it matter? But it's the it's the intent. So we got to think about the design intent. Let's let's give this a knocking score. How how bad do you guys want to knock on this one? Well, as it's a fire door, I don't see a label, but it says it's a fire door. So I would assume you know it should have some means to default to staying closed in a fire. So I'm going to go with this at least a seven, maybe higher. It's violating several things. Benji, my this might be the first ten. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's no latch for a fire yeah. door, and that's that's somebody's going to die. <laughs> Some fireman's going to get in faster, but that's not good. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of. I'm assuming if it is hospitality, which it looks like, there's a lot of rooms and a lot of people right behind this door, and I I, I would agree with you. It's probably a ten or nine or eight or seven somewhere somewhere in there. I mean, the door might be heavy enough to like hold something off for a while, at least for people to uh, exit, but chances are smoke's going to be throwing through there. And that's, what's going to be the real killer for all those people trying to escape me. If you're, if you're saying it's a 10, I'm calling it 10. I, I think I it's agree. a 10. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this fire, this door can't do its job. Or what if somebody put that fire label on mistake? So it's still bad. Uh, Jeff did send a third picture, but it's of the fire label, but it was okay. painted. Painted over all. Oh, hmm. This is a 10. Yep, it's 10. 10. Yep, if it's... This is our first 10. We, we got one. We, we knocked it so hard. <laughs> Dang. Wow. Sometimes you, uh, you win and sometimes you learn. <laughs> Sometimes you might die. We want to prevent that in all chances we can. We want to prevent yeah. that. Well, thank you. Thank you, Dan, the man, for uh, being with us today. And thank you, Mia, as always. Uh, it's a pleasure having you guys on the show. Um, join us next time for uh, the next episode of Unhinged. Our doors are always open because they are unhinged. <laughs> If you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged, or if you have a photo to submit, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.